welcome viewers to another episode in this series of episodes where we've continued to look at the 2023 internal mathematics paper 2. If you haven't seen the other episode, please check out on our YouTube channel and also don't forget to download the companion app where we'll be able to find all the exam past papers, quizzes that we can help to practice. Remember, practice makes it permanent. Let us look at question 12. The following table shows the age distribution of 30 people in a village. So we have the age in years, then we've got the frequency. Calculate the standard de deviation. Then B, answer this part of this question on a sheet of graph paper. Using the table above, copy and complete the relative cumulative frequency table below. So that one. Using a scale of 2 cm to represent 10 units on the horizontal axis and 2 cm to represent 0 0.1 units on the vertical axis from x is greater or equal to 0 but less or equal to 60 and y is greater or equal to 0 0.1 but less or equal to 1. Draw a smooth relative cumulative frequency curve. Showing a method clearly, use your graph to estimate the 70th percentile. So this question is on statistics. It is one of the questions that I would recommend you to choose because the questions remain the same and you are guaranteed of getting good marks. So let us tackle this question one by one. Let us start with question A. So question A is asking us to find the standard deviation and this question always come. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to go to the second page of the question paper and see the formula. So we know that mean is given by summation of the frequency multiplied by the middle value or the value of x then multiply by the sum of the frequencies. So in this case the sum of frequencies is this 30. We are told that there are 30 people. The standard deviation which the question is asking us to find is given by summation of the frequency times x square then over summation of all the frequencies minus the mean we square it then we find the square root of that value. That's the standard deviation. So we need two things. We need to know the mean then we need to know the sum of the frequencies multiplied by the x square. Then once we do that, then we should be able to proceed. So, how do we find the value of x? That's what is important. So, because the frequencies are given to us. So, the value of x, we come and look for the middle value. What's the middle value between these two? So, we have the minimum is a 0, then the maximum is a 10 in that interval. So, it will be 0 plus 10 divided by 2, which should be 5. The next we come here it will be 10 plus 20 which is 30 divided by 2 which is 15. Then next it will be 20 plus 30 which is 50 divided by 2 25. Then 30 plus 40 is 70 divided by 2 35. Then 40 plus 50 90 divided by 2 45. Then last three 50 plus 60 110 divided by 2 we have 1. 55. So if you notice the intervals, all the intervals, the values of x are increasing by 10, 10, 10. Because 5 plus 10 is 15, 15 plus 10 is 25, like that until 55. So once you know the value of x, then it becomes easier. Because to find summation of f times x, it will just be, like in that case, it will just be, I say frequency times x, which is 5, then plus next it will be 6 times 15, like that. Then you're going to answer all of them until the last one, which will be 2 times 55. You are going to find the value. Then once you find the value, you should be able to find the value of x. Or you can use the table approach, which I'm going to use. So, in the table approach, you do the same. So, I'm going to see the values like this. So, I've already completed the table to make it easier for you to follow so that I don't waste much of the time. So, what we, what we did is, we did like him. The first one was the frequency, which is 2 times 5, 10. So, this is the 10. The next it will be 6 times 5, which is 90. We do the same until the last one, which will be 55 times 2, which is 110. Then after that, we add all of them. We're going to find that that answer is 860. So once we do that, then you will notice that it's easier to find the mean. So the mean becomes now, like we said, summation of all the product of frequencies and the middle value of x, then divide by the sum of all the frequencies. So it's going to be... 860 which is this total then divide by the 30 that and that then when you simplify this we're going to find out that the answer will be 28.7 because it will be 28.67 but it one decimal place to be 28.7 as the mean so once we find the mean then the next thing is to find the standard deviation so standard deviation similarly the way we did here we need to find the summation of f x square so 
the difference is I'm going to use a different color so that you're noticing. So the frequency remains the same. It will be a 2. Then you multiply by. Now it's this value of x that you need to square. So it will be 5 square. Then plus the frequency remains the same. So it will be 6. Then you multiply by. Then the next it will be 15. You square 15. So 15 square. You do the same until the last one which will be 2 times 55 so 55, so the only issue is different, I'm using the square like that. So that's what you do. So if you go, you're using the table approach, you're going to discover that it will be now, you square the x, which will be 5 times 5, 25, 15 times 5 to 25, all the way up to 55 times 55, which will be 3,025. Then after you square that, then you multiply by the frequency. So it will be 2 multiplied by 25, which will be 50. Then next it will be 6 times 225 which will give you 1350. You do the same until the last one which will be 2 times uh, 3025 which will give you 6050. Then you sum these, you sum all these using your calculator you are going to find that you are going to have 229750. Once you get that then you can proceed to find the standard deviation because you would have found everything that you are looking for. You would have found this, you know this is 30 then you know the mean then it's easier so that's the approach that you use so meaning now standard deviation is equal to the square root so we know what this value is 29750 so it will be 29750 divided by 30 then minus 28.7 square like that then when you use our calculator we are going to discover that Standard deviation will equal to square root of 169.89, which is the standard deviation now equals to 13.03414. So SD equals 13.0. So 13 is the standard deviation. So once you do that, you're good to go. Then you get the first six marks, which is here. Then you can move to question B. So question B requires us to answer this question on the sheet of graph paper. Using the table above, copy and complete the relative cumulative frequency table. So it's just a matter of completing the missing missing three values. So how are they finding this? So it's just a matter of saying, okay, there are 13 in total. So to find this one, it will just be 17 divided by 30. So when you divide 17 by 30, you're going to end up with 0 0.57 then next it will be 24 divided by 30 24 divided by 30 is going to be 0 0.8 so this is 0 0.8 which is like that then we're going to have 28 divided by 30 which is going to give us 0 0.1 0 0.93 so 0 0.93 like that then after you complete that table, everything becomes easier. Then that's one max. Then we're at seven max. Then using a scale of two centimeters to represent ten units on on the horizontal axis and the two centimeters to represent zero point one units on the vertical axis, for this interval, draw a smooth relative cumulative frequency curve. So that's the three max. So so what you just need to do is make sure to follow the instruction. So let us move to the graph paper. So if you look at the graph paper, I've already plotted the graph paper properly and ensure that I follow the instructions. So make sure to label the graph paper properly. Once you do that, you discover that this question becomes easier. So let us just start plotting. So I'm going to zoom in the graph so that we focus at the few points at a time so that you are able to see as I plot. So the first point is 0, 0, 0, 0.00. So it's starting at the origin. So I'm going to use the light color so that you can see properly. So it's going to start here. Then we we'll move next to the next point, which will be 10, because it's everything less than 10. So 10, comma 0 0.07. So if you notice, from here to here is 0 0.1, and there are 10 units. So meaning each unit, subunit, is divided by 10, which is 0 0.01. So I just need to count 7 at 10. So it will be 7 is this, is here exactly. Then we we'll move to the next one, which will be, it will be, 20 comma 0 0.27 so again I go there 0 0.2 is here then I'm going to do up to 7 which will be somewhere here then next it will be 
30,0.57 so I'll go here 30,0.57 so 57 is somewhere here that's where it is then we proceed we have 14 comma 0.8 so this one is straightforward so we look at 48 so it will be 10 20 30 40 so 40 is here so it is somewhere here then next it's 50 comma 0.93 so if 40 is here then 50 is in this line so 93 is here up to here that's where 93 is so i've zoomed in so that you follow along then we look at now 60 comma 1 so 60 comma 1 so we come here so 60 is here so it will be somewhere here then at this point you just to join these points so i can start from the top using a smooth curve like that then let me go to the bottom part So we are done with joining the points. So let me just now. So this is how the complete graph will look. Once you do this, you will notice that this becomes easier and you easily get these three marks. Then we we'll move to Loma numero three, showing your method clearly. Use your graph to estimate the 70th percentile. So 70th percentile, it means it's equivalent to 70%. So what we do is we just go and say, okay, what's the units? So the units goes up to one. One is the maximum. So what we need to do is to say now, okay, so I'm going to have 70 over 100 multiplied by one, which is going to give me 0 0.7. So we need to go and look for the line 0 0.7, then draw a horizontal line. Then at the point it meets the graph, then we read down. So let me put a ruler. So we do have a ruler in place, so we just do a line. So a line should do meet the graph there. Then after we need to draw a line downward. So we need to draw the dotted lines here. We come and read down here. That value. So that value is what we are looking for. So when you come and read down there, you notice that the interval is 10, 10. So if you do properly you notice that there should be around 34 35 so this is loma numero 3 because i'm sketching so loma numero 3 the 70th percentile is is loma numero 2 is therefore equal to so if you go there you discover that that's one two three four five that's approximately 35 from here i can see that's yeah that's uh, 36 yeah 36 that's 35 36 years 36 years in is in the 70th percentile so once you do this you're good to go you get these 12 marks so whether it will be 35 or 36 it depends on the smoothness of the cable but it should be around 35 because of uh, the smoothness here so it's 35 i can see that the line is not very smooth so the line there is not very smooth so it will be around 35 so thank you for joining me in this series of episodes where we've been looking at this question please don't forget to download the companion app which i believe will be helpful for you to smash your exams.